हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू ऑल कंप्यूटर क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू पार्ट फाइव ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री एंड टुडेज टॉपिक्स आर अप्लाइंग बॉर्डर्स एंड शेडिंग एंड रिसाइजिंग टेबल सो सो द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज अप्लाइंग बॉर्डर्स एंड शेडिंग सो यू नो हाउ टू क्रिएट टेबल राइट सो टेबल अपेरेंस कैन बी एनहेंस बाय अप्लाइंग वराइटी ऑफ बॉर्डर्स एंड शेडिंग स्टाइल्स राइट so our table will look better more beautiful and very attractive if we learn how we can apply beautiful and attractive borders and shading to our table right so let's move to the practical session so you see this is a table right now let's apply border and shadings to the table for that the first step is to click on this table move handle available at the corner by this we select the table now my table is selected now i have table tools under this we have design tab and in the design tab we can apply borders and shadings so from here first of all we'll choose the line style and then the width and then the color right first of all these three things we will choose so let's choose the line desired line let's say i want this line and let's choose the width thickness of the line let it be this and let's choose the color let it be a blue color green color and now we will choose what kind of border i want i want border only at the bottom only at top only at left right or all borders so i'll choose this and this is the table with beautiful borders now click again and you have this shading option right so if i choose this and i choose some color you see the cells are filled with some light shadings so if i choose the second color so you see the table has got a beautiful shading right so i hope you have understood how to use this draw border group right so this is the one way the other way is let's have one more table now let me insert a table quickly this is a table in front of us the first step is similar we will select the table now in the draw border group we just have a a dialog box launcher option from here so i'll click here so you see border and shading will open now from here we have various types of line with us so whatever kind of line we like we can choose that from here we can choose the color uh let's say blue this time and how much thickness you want so we can choose that much right now where i want to apply the border i want to apply the border to the entire table all over so click okay the border is applied now again select the table and open the dialog box launcher with the same same step now we have shading option here so no color is chosen here so from here i can choose the shading and i can apply it to the table so this is the shading to my table right so i hope you are clear with this how to apply border and shadings to the table so the next topic is resizing tables for resizing students we have two ways one is manual and other is auto fit option right so we can increase or decrease the size of the table manually by using table resize handle so you might have seen this handle on the table when you click you see that right we can use this for resizing the table or ms word offers a ready made solution to resize the table by using auto fit option right so this auto fit option when where do you find it right so the moment you select your table right so you you get this tab table tools we'll go in the layouts and in the layouts we will get to see this auto fit option under this auto fit option we have three further options 
first is auto fit contents second is auto fit window third is fixed column width right so the first is auto fit contents as name suggests auto fit content so it adjusts the column width according to the data entered right i'll just show you practically you will uh, it will be more clear to you then auto fit windows will adjust the table according to the margin set on the windows right next is fixed column width so the column width gets fixed and the text is wrapped in the same cells so now let's move to the word and understand practically how does it work so you see this is my table i will select my table right we'll go in the layouts and here you see what is the option it is auto fit so the first is auto fit content what will it do it will adjust the column width according to the data entered so now let me select this auto fit content right so the first option is selected from the drop down menu now you see table is shrinked now just observe what happens when i enter the text now you see what did you observe so the width of the column is as much the content all the columns width are different why because the length of the content is different so age is smallest so the width of the age column is smallest so i hope you are clear with this so we have resized the table according to the content we have entered right second is auto fit window so if when i will choose this option what will happen let's select the table i select the table and auto fit window so my table margins are from here to here so the table is extended between the margin on the window right margin on this page so now i i will enter the text the table size will remain this much but the height can be changed right so the width is fixed and it is spreading across the page third is fixed column width so when i choose this option what happens i select the table i go to the layout and choose the fixed column width now my column uh, width is fixed now if i enter the long text in this what will happen did you observe something the long text will be wrapped within that cell right so column width will not increase so this was the auto fit uh, auto fit option of the ms word the other one was now you see we can adjust the or resize the table manually for example you see this is the resizing resizing handle i can decrease the table or i can use these lines to resize them just bring your mouse pointer on the edge of the table it will be like a vertical two lines indicating what we want to do right so this way also we can resize the entire table like this or this and we can move the table with the help of this i hope you are clear with these two topics resizing the table and border and shadings of the table right so practice and uh, practice that will make you perfect that is my all time favorite line So see you in the next video till then take care and practice goodbye